On Saturday, the Cleveland Museum of Natural History celebrated Women in Science Day. There were hands-on activities and a chance for girls to mingle with women in the STEM field. And we say this lovingly now. Our own science geek, Betsy, moderated a panel discussion and encouraged girls to think about making science, technology, engineering, or math a career choice. So the whole day was dedicated to STEM. It was. It was really cool. Lots of hands-on activities for girls and for boys. And it all fell under the umbrella of International Women in STEM Day. So the big push was to just give kids an opportunity to try out different ways they could get their hands on something STEM and maybe even pursue it as a career down the road. Everyone looks up at the sky and has questions about things. The night sky can really put on a show. So this is a simulation where it's showing us the dark matter. And so can astronomy student Kaylee here. Parker. She takes planetarium audiences to distant galaxies, points out constellations, and shows off how stars and planets move in the sky. Pretty cool, right? Parker has been volunteering for about two years at the Cleveland Natural History Museum, sharing her passion for astronomy that started when she was young. Growing up, I had this very small plastic telescope that kind of worked. You could see the moon through it. I didn't realize that it was something that um, someone could actually have a career in. So when I finally had that discovery, I just jumped all in. And wow, did she jump. Studying at Case Western Reserve University, completing an internship at the museum, and up next, pursuing a PhD so she can teach people about the universe. Yeah. Perfect, all right. You guys know your planets. Everyone has such great questions. It oftentimes makes me think about, like, I don't know, I've never thought of that question before. That's a really cool idea. Parker hopes her planetarium shows spark a love of science and wonder, especially in young girls. And once that spark is lit, find support to turn your dreams into reality. Whether it's a friend who also likes science, or if it's your family, or like there's a lot of programs now, like um, at my school we have a women in astronomy club, basically, where we can all meet up and make sure everyone feels like comfortable and everything. Because STEM girls need to stick together. Thank you. Isn't it cool to think, you know, you go outside, you look up at night, you see the stars, you're like, wow, I wonder what that is. She can answer the question. <laughs> she knows what it is. It takes a lot of studying, obviously. Well, all of that is cool. But just listening to her and looking at her face, the excitement mm -hmm. about what she's into, I mean, you're going to be a big success when you're that into it like that, no matter what it is. I mean, you're going to be great at it. If you can find your passion. Yeah. There it is. That's where you're going to go. And it just keeps your, your fire lit your whole life. True. 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 You know that. <laughs> you, True. You've got the fire yeah, lit. We've go. got the fire lit. Our fire here in the Weather Center over there it's is always lit. just to keep us warm. <laughs>